Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In this tutorial, so we are going to show you how to geo search on the WordPress website based on the user geolocation via Jet Engine Query Builder and a user geolocation widget from the Jet Smart Filter. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, so let me show you uh, what you can achieve here. Now, so I've got the events listing here. Uh, by the way, this is a CPT, uh, custom post type. And then now go to uh, Query Builder for the GeoSearch here. So it looks like uh, the preset location is Montreal. And then so the distance, so this is the radius distance, okay? So uh, any event shows uh, 1000 kilometers radius from Montreal. Okay, so let's just uh, update. And then let's go to um, map here. Now, so here is a Montreal and uh, any events like 1000 kilometers radius will show on the map here. So I got the 10 in Ottawa and 10 in Toronto. So by the way, so distance from Ottawa to Toronto is about 500 kilometers, okay? Now, I live in Ottawa, so this town, all right? So let's uh, go back to query. Now, let's change this to 50 kilometers, okay? Hit update, and let's refresh here. Now, it shows only 50 kilometers radius from where I live, I located, so as you see here, that's in Ottawa, okay? So, um, 10 events. Now, remember that I had uh, two events in Toronto, but it doesn't show it because uh, this is still, uh, I set as only 50 kilometers uh, radius from I live, all right? So this is really handy. So I'll show you how to do this with Jet Engine plugin. So let's get started. So first of all, I will show you the requirements for this tutorial. Uh, first, you need a jet engine, and then map listing module enable, and a jet smart filter, and I use Elementor page builder. This is a free version. All right. First, uh, you have to make sure uh, to go to jet engine and the map listings is enabled, and go to map settings, and I use uh, Google Map. And make sure that uh, you have to have API key is activated. And then the geocoding provider is Google. Right now, so this meta field to preload. So I put the underscore address. So I'll show you why. And then let's go to um, Jet Engine uh, post type. Yeah, because this is an events listing. And uh, under meta fields, so I got the location here, address. So label, I just put address and then name ID underscore address, okay? And then here, um, object type is field and then field type is map, right? So this name ID goes to map settings and then here, meta field to preload, so. So let's create a query. So go to Jet Engine, and then here we have a Query Builder. So let's hit Add a New. And then, so I'm gonna just uh, name it to Map Query. So, and then, so query type is Post Query. And then Post Type. So I'm gonna pick uh, Events right here. And then post status, I'm gonna just uh, hit the published. And one more thing, so we got the geo search here. Now here, so we can uh, select the location here. So let's, uh, I'm gonna hit, uh, let's go to, okay, so I'm gonna just uh, pick uh, near Toronto area, okay. And then, so address field. So remember that uh, when I went to post type for event, so address, so you need to just copy this name ID 
and then so you're gonna paste on that okay and then distance uh, I'm gonna just pick 1000 and a unit kilometers so this means that um, any events happening or listed a uh, 1000 kilometer radius from Toronto is gonna be listed or displayed on the map all right so I'm gonna hit add query so this is how you create map query so that's easy right now so the next step is so you need to have listing template for events or your CPT so I have event listing already created in the previously so that's event and the event listing calendar here so I'll quickly show that to you I was uh, using Elementor so it's kind of simple uh, template here uh, this is just the date and the month and then the title and the location and I think uh, the organizer of uh, the events uh, should be here all right so you have to set this up first now so let's go back to the dashboard uh, I need to create a page that displays a map and the events listing here and then go to page and I'm gonna hit add a new Okay, I'm gonna put title for map and then I'm just uh, hit publish and I'm gonna use uh, Elementor and let's bring uh, map listing yeah so right here it is map listing widget so I'm just a drag and drop right here and then let's look for listing so I have event listing I think uh, this one event listing calendar so I'm gonna choose that and then so I'm gonna uh, put the address beta field so which one is now you can probably guess underscore address right so that's name ID okay so now it's showing the map here now here you can change uh, map height uh, post number so you know I can probably put the more increase that number here right so now you see that and then uh, but we're going to be using a custom query for this okay so click this and turn this on and then so I create a map query right so select this now uh, looks like I had a 12 total so now 8 and 2 so let's go back to uh, query builder so I probably have to do something here now go back to uh, query builder and then map query so I think I have to go to uh, pagination uh, here we go so post per page uh, I'm gonna just show it all so use uh, kind of minus one so I'm gonna just uh, put like that here and they hit update okay so let's uh, refresh this page oops I'm gonna just uh, hit update first and then try to refresh it yeah okay so that works here all right now so let's uh, um, take a quick preview of this page now so you see remember that um, I selected a Toronto area and 1000 kilometers radius okay so as I said between Toronto and Ottawa that's about 500 so this is working fine now so let's go back to uh, query builder and then uh, you'll search now so I'm going to change this to um, 50 kilometers radius all right so I hit update and then so go to uh, map and then refresh it now as you can see I can just zoom in here it's showing only Toronto so this is a Toronto area two events right so you got the Toronto and then so if you guys zoom out hang on so there are some events in Ottawa like I think 10 events but it's not really showing it it's only showing the events happening only one th oh sorry 50 kilometers radius like small area all right now as I said this is not really helpful because I live in Ottawa right so that's why setting up a geo search is going to be really handy all right so let's go back to dashboard 
and you need a smart filter for this okay so i'm going to hit the add a new so we have to set up a new filter so i'm going to name it to user geolocation okay and then so it's right here user geolocation so i'm going to pick that now so this field query variable is required but actually you don't really have to uh, it's not really required for this user geolocation widget um, but you have to put something so i'm going to just put underscore okay and then filter label okay and then uh, hit update okay should be good now so let's go to um, this event map page uh, editing page here and then so then look for user geolocation okay so i'm going to just uh, drag and drop uh, it's actually it doesn't really matter anywhere it doesn't really uh, show anything on the front front end and then so let's uh, select the filter um, Oh, actually, maybe I probably have to uh, refresh this page. Okay. So use our geolocation. And then this filter is for jet engine maps. Okay. And then let's go hit update. All right, so I'm going to open up... Um, uh, use a Chrome window here yes. and then paste that uh, map event page. Now it says so this website wants to know your location and then with a block called allow. So let's hit allow here. So as you see right now, it's showing Toronto, right? It's because I set it as um, 50 kilometers radius from Toronto, right? So now remember, I live in Ottawa you know, 500 kilometers away from Toronto and they hit allow. So now it says allowed. Okay. And then, so let's wait here. Now you can see this is Ottawa. Okay. So we got the 10 events, 50 kilometers around the radius from where I live. Okay. So this is really cool. Now let's go back to query builder. Now let's I change to, uh, you know, 500 kilometers. Okay, hit update. Now this should show, I'm pretty sure it's gonna show um, the event in Toronto as well. Here we go. So now 10 in Ottawa and also um, there's two events in Toronto because I set it as 500 kilometers away. Now you know how to set the geo search based on user geolocation via the Jet Engine Query Builder and the user geolocation widget from the Jet Smart Filters. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to CrocBlock channel for more useful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.